You've come back. It's good to see you. Oh, really? What do you mean I'm not talking to you? I am talking to you. We're back. With the old square back. Get it? Back with the square back. I like it. I'm gonna keep it. Today we're going to take care of some of this rust. Um, definitely clean up back there. Get that all cut out. Get it polished up. Take the wire brush to it. Make it all fancy fresh. Um, and then also the around the doors where there were some problem areas and then especially this left door here it's barely hanging on by anything um, and there is uh, some some very interesting repairs that are on the inside of the door so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the panel off of it and see what's inside um, as well as anything else that I find along the way Definitely, I will take you along with me. You know I will. I got you. Um, and we'll, uh, we'll hop on it. We'll see what happens. That's, uh... interesting. This looks like an aluminum plate. You can see right there that they riveted. And there's also, see where the hole is where they tried to rivet it from the outside. But, since there aren't rivets there, then obviously something went wrong. But this thing is pretty chewed up. Man, that's dusty. It's not bad. It could be worse. But this thing is... There isn't much in terms of structure here. The sides, though, feel pretty solid. knew about that but the rest of this looks like they use looks like liquid nails to stick this to it's crispy but like these spots right there maybe it's not looks like it yeah that was a pain to pull out the next I'm gonna see how many little uh, little spots are in here to know what to expect.
time that this is all vacuumed up and cleaned and yeah neither do I that's a hole that's a hole Something really strange it's just really bad up here and it's just like nice and shiny no rust and then it's really bad yeah, like I said, she be rusty boat. Well, I think it's time to take a break from all the Ford and stuff and just get all this done because I'm tired of waiting and I'm ready to use my new toys. So we'll uh, get cutting. that this piece here that one right there is not attached to this part so I just just cut it out make it a lot easier now, I don't know about this here um, yeah you see where these two pieces aren't attached so I can cut these out and this is in generally good shape here, I'll have to see underneath. But it's not as bad as all the rest of this. So, I'm gonna keep, keep cleaning up and, uh, and see what I get. So what I was just doing there, tapping. I'm gonna do a little tap. You can see right there. A little sunlight through there. I mean, not really sunlight, it's pretty overcast right now. But what I was doing is just tapping at this, finding some weak spots. A lot of this right here is really weak. And I haven't even worked my way down here what I'll probably do next after cutting the rest of this out um, is put this, the back seat, back up and then remove all this. Because looking back in there, there's a couple little spots. If not, at least from what I can see here, of course, it doesn't look that bad, thankfully. But I'm just going to get rid of all of this. I mean, I'm. It, it's an ashtray. I, we don't. I don't need ashtrays. I don't smoke. So pull all this out. The armrest. Pull that off. Pretty much just gunting the thing to find every little bit of rust to cut out and eventually replace.
and that's not bad. Nice little ashtray spot. More spots to unbolt the fenders, which I'm probably going to do. Take these off and see what kind of goodies are hidden behind it. Also see the inside. On the outside they look fine, but I'm worried about the opposite side of, of this. Hey, that's pretty good. out nicely and bench itself is also in, in decent shape I mean it's fully intact and everything don't really have to worry about replacing that now in terms of what's behind the bench a little rusty but it's not bad a couple critters here and there um, mud wasps definitely have I don't know if it's active or not don't want to find out so I'm just gonna get rid of it behind the wheel wells and this cockroach. But other than that, everything looks pretty speck and span. Thankfully, what I'm gonna do is take a mallet to it, make sure that there aren't any, any cavitation, I don't really know how to explain it, any thin pieces that are rusty. And, uh, we'll see what we do. I've been getting this cleaned up. Starting to get down here with this here little brush. So with this one, just kind of scraping away the, the big stuff. This is probably I think the worst part in this this back area. Yeah, I've just been working at it. Mindless, mindless work. Boom. I'll keep working away and then give you a little update then. So I was thinking about it. What I should do with all this in here, what I what I would like to do is actually have the whole the whole floor of this have it hinge about here. So I'll put a, a, a cross member there, and then what I'll do is put a hinge on it, and then have it so it closes right over this. Because I was talking about in the last the last video is because this sits so high above everywhere else that it was exposed. Even with the think about the originals, they would have a little door that goes over this that would be flush with all of this. But when they put this aftermarket carburetor in it. It's sticking a little bit up. So what I want to do is get that, that that diamond sheeting, put it all one solid piece, have a little box that goes over this, 
So I have it all one solid piece, and then if I ever need to access it, I can just lift up the whole thing. Be able to get in here however I need to. And then that way, it'll actually be sucking air the way it should be through here. And then suck it in properly. Of course, I'll have to treat the rust that's developing in these intakes but got a long way to go until then I'm tired Ugh, my body hurts okay so a little recap on today Open up the door, saw what was inside. Doesn't seem like it'd be too hard to just brace it up and get it somewhat a little bit more sturdy and also so the door closes correctly. You gotta do a little lift to close the door. So when the time comes to actually do some some welding, I'll probably just take the door off and and then just do it with it laying down a lot easier. Um, then there's just the rest. It's just working in the back. I mean, it's pretty, pretty rough. Got it cleaned up a lot. But you know what I want to do? I'm gonna start her up. Also, just to make sure that I haven't, I haven't killed it. I'm not really worried. Thank <laughs> you. 